Thank you, lads. You finished then? No, I just decided to try standing on me tiptoes. It's cheaper. You know, I shan't miss you and your missus. In fact, uh, if you having a going away party, I should hire a phone box. Oh, we will have a party, all right. To celebrate not having to look at your face anymore. Falling, isn't it? How could they? It's a memorial. I don't know which is worse. The lack of respect, reason, or the possessive apostrophe. I'll give you a hand. This means more to me than most. This is going to take more than soap and water, Gail. It, it, it is sanding, revarnishing. I'll come back later. I need to open up. How are you managing without Anna? Oh, she's sorely missed. Well, I could do a few extra shifts. I mean, it's not as if I'm a stranger to the place and I could do with a bit of extra money coming in. Well, I, I would like to help Gail, but Shona and Alex are doing Anna's hours. It's all right. It was just a thought. Um... I'll see you. Um, that was Newton and Ridley on the phone. And they what? They're sending Henry Newton round with a photographer this afternoon for this local family promotion. Oh, it's the first I've heard of it. Well, apparently they're trying to attract more parents and kids in pubs. Well, I'm all for some free publicity, but a bit of warning would have been nice. Mm. Warning of what? Oh, the brewery want a photo. The pub family behind your family pub. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got a letter about that a few weeks back. Oh, and you never thought to say anything? Well, no, because I didn't think it applied to us. It's not like we're going to hang a swing tie where the dartboard is. <laughs> we're a backstreet bruiser, aren't we? We're not a play centre. Yeah, well, they seem to think otherwise. And they do supply half our ale, so we better keep them sweet. Yeah, I agree. And if Henry Newton's coming here, well, we've all got to say cheese. Yeah, well, good luck telling Cy that. Oh, yeah, I know. I've already told him I've got two kids and they want them both in the photo, so great. Now I'm going to have to phone Cy, get him to come home for his lunch, wearing his best angelic smile. Woohoo! Honestly, it's meant to be a great country. It's where they filmed um, Lord of the Rings. What about all my friends? Well, you can make new ones there, can't you? Better ones, even. Honestly, it'd be the best thing we ever did. Even if it means leaving me behind. Well, I don't want to leave you behind, but it's got to be your choice. Don't pretend you're being reasonable. Does going away mean more to you than I do? Well, does staying here mean more to you than me and the kids? Hey, buddy. All right. What are you doing here? Come through. Okay. Look, uh, I've just got you some contacts you might need. About the move. Right. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, Dad, this is Shona. Shona, this is my dad. Oh, so we meet at last. I thought it was a shame to me. Mm, I'm sure it wasn't you. Uh, look, guys, uh, if you're in the middle of something... No, 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 it's not important. I'm late for work. It's nice to meet you, Martin. Bye. Everything OK? Yeah, she's just not much of a morning person, really. Mm. Actually, she's not much of a nighttime person, is she? I mean, there's about half an hour in the afternoon when she's OK. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, like, you're easy to live with. <laughs> so, is she all right with moving? Oh, she'll get used to it. Mm. Well, it's a big move. You've got to be certain. Oh, no, I am. I am. But uh, listen, I need to get these to school, but are you going to be around later? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd uh, say a few hellos and goodbyes. Drop in on Kev. Right. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you this afternoon, yeah? Yeah, sure. Uh, say goodbye, kids. Bye. Bye. See ya. Right, come on, you. Sulky pants. The poached steak, you said? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't look like this at my age by accident. I have to take care of myself. By having a poached egg with your sausage and bacon barb. What's next? A uh, diet cola with your kebab? Small changes can make a big difference. Mm, you sound like Gail. She's taken to having one glass of wine. That's admirable. Uh, you should see the glass. It should come with a lifeguard. I did see her earlier. She, she was asking if there were any ships going. Gail? Well, what did you say? Well, I told her there weren't any. I was unsure how you would feel about working alongside your, your partner's mother. Uh, excuse me, Gail was after a job? Uh, just part-timer. 
She did imply that money was a bit tight. Actually, she, she seemed quite upset when I saw her yesterday. She was in the bistro with a what, strange looking woman. Strange? In what way? Well, she was attractive enough, but um, seemed a bit quite well, tense. Oh, Rosemary. Rosemary? Who is Rosemary? Oh, dear. No, I'm sorry, Leanne, I can't. It's my morning off. Oh, come on, I wouldn't normally ask. It's just we've got to get the pub into ship shape for this photo. What photo? Oh, they're doing this family photo for this promotional campaign. So if you could bring him back by lunch, that'd be great. Yeah, oh, you having your photo, big man? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the desperates get all the kids in. Oh, well, in that case, hey, I'll get Amy to come over for a lunch and she can walk Olive around. Well, what would you bring her around to the pub for? Uh, a packet of scratchings and half a lager. What do you think? To pose for the photo. Hey, dead photogenic, isn't she? She's like a little Christina Rishi. Yeah, I'm sure she is, but they don't want the Adams family. They want the family who live in the pub, so sorry, no. Bring her around at lunchtime, yeah? Uh, she's Oliver's half-sister, and that pub is like a second home. Well, not anymore, it's not, so no, sorry, it's a no. Right, try, see you later. Well, what can I say? I don't know, Steve. Something, anything, but no, you say nothing. If she walked over you anymore, she might as well put you down as a flaming carpet. And I would happily hammer the tax in. The thing is, she can be very plausible once she starts. Well, who's to say she's not genuine? I mean, there are things in heaven... Don't start with that nonsense again. Do you think Gail's fallen under her influence? Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll have to speak to her about it. You speak to her about what? Oh, have you been talking to Audrey's medium? Oh, she's not my medium. I only had one consultation. Have you been to see her, Gail? Well, what if I have? Well, for goodness sake, you couldn't have been more opposed to her. And you couldn't have been more in favour of her. And now I've talked to her, I see why everything makes sense. Gail, those that claim to be in touch with the so-called spirit world are at best deluded and at worst incorrigible charlatans. They shamelessly exploit the vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. Oh. Nothing's gone right since Richard Hillman walked into my life. Cos he never left me. He's cursed me. Look, Gail, it isn't like you haven't had bad luck in your life, eh? I mean, look what happened to poor Brian. Eh? Hey. Her first husband. That was a random act, out of the blue. But by and large, life was normal back then. Now it's one disaster after another, not just for me, but for the whole family. Well, that's fair enough. I wouldn't bother with the lottery. Oh, Brian. I mean, I used to ask myself what I've done to deserve it. Now I finally know. Gail, get... Oh, I should never have got them together. It's dredging up all her worst memories, this. We must do something. This woman is perpetrating the most despicable of deceits. For an educated man, it can be very black and white at times. There's no grey areas here. We must arrange a meeting with this Rosemary at the soonest opportunity. And I assure you, I will expose her so-called insights for the arrant nonsense that they are. Oh, you should have come in. It's all right. His face got that. Oh, I know, but... Every time I see him, he pulls a fifty pence from behind me. Oh, think yourself lucky you only pulled twenty pence out of mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, he drives straight mad. Yeah, well, at least he gives us something else to think about, eh? Can't be easy seeing the mum banged up. One for you. I don't know why we held it together in there. Last thing mum needed to see was a little falling apart. Hey, she was made up about you getting that job. Well, too right, she's more happy about it than I am. Well, it's not too late. You'll have money in your pocket still, you're here. <laughs> uh, I know, but it's just... She's going to... Feel way going into Legacy Reach every day. Why well, feeling's not going to be hanging around, is he? Who knows? You might even get to find out what he was so nervous about up there. Mm. It's very good of Rosemary to come over at such short notice. Well, by your rationale, she would have been expecting the invitation. At least I've got an open mind. There's Grand National when he's said nay less often than you. Look, I, I make no apologies for wanting empirical evidence before I'll embrace the kind of mumbo-jumbo that you'll swallow wholesale. For goodness sake, will you both stop bickering, please? I don't know why you insisted on coming along. I offer a different perspective. Can't argue with that. Plus, things might turn nasty. You might be grateful for a bit of muscle. Oh, she's a middle-aged clairvoyant. I doubt if muscle's going to be required. If she became possessed, there's no telling how strong she'll be. One minute she's Doris Stokes, the next minute Jeff Capes. Oh, now, that'll be her, right? Good luck. Luck is as bogus as she is, Audrey. Reason will prevail. Oh, 
Audrey. Oh, Rosemary, thank you so much for coming, love. And I am sorry it was such short notice. Oh, not at all. Oh, I didn't realise you have company. Good afternoon. Uh, this is my friend Roy and his friend Brian. Rosemary. Enchanté. Hello. If it's inconvenient, I can always come back another time. No, listen. Roy is the reason I asked you, to be honest. He is trying to uh, contact somebody on the other side, and I told him you might be able to help. I look forward to seeing you in action. Right. <laughs> All right, Roy. I can't promise anything, but I will do my best. What is your second name? Why would you require my surname? Roy doesn't exactly narrow it down. That's a fair point. It could be Roy Orbison for all the spirits now. Roy Orbison's dead. Are you sure? Positive. I don't think you're right. Uh, could you ask if uh, Roy Orbison's over there? Big fella, dark glasses, in probably high. Cropper, in... Roy. Cropper. Does anyone wish to communicate with Roy Cropper? Well. There's a woman. Or it could be a man. Which is it? Well, whoever it is, they're surprised to hear from you. You don't believe in the afterlife. Something patently obvious, given my demeanour. Does this humanoid have a name? It is a woman. It is your wife. Is it? Well, I had considered removing my wedding ring, but I didn't want to leave you entirely helpless. Your wedding ring didn't tell me that she was dead. No, but it was a fair assumption in the circumstances. And had it proved erroneous, you, you no doubt have a myriad of well-practiced explanations to hand. I'm sorry. I refuse to work under these conditions. And, and, and I cannot cast aside a lifetime of scepticism without something concrete. So I, I, I'll make it easy for you. Ask my wife her name. I, I, I'm not demanding next week's football results or asking her to prove the gold back conjecture. The what? It's a hypothesis put forward by a German mathematician in the 18th century. It doesn't matter now. Ask my wife her name. No. I will not be placed under trial. And frankly, Audrey, I'm disappointed you allowed me to be ambushed like this. Rosemary, all he wanted was her name. The spirits come to me, and they offer up what they choose. You do not ask them to play who wants to be a millionaire. I supply you four options. I will not dignify that. Goodbye, Audrey. Oh, no, wait! Oh! Rosemary, wait! Rosemary! Oh, wait! Look, I don't want to fall out with you, but you need to stop seeing my daughter. All this talk of curses isn't doing her any good. She's the one pushing it. Even so, I would be very grateful if you didn't see her anymore. If a client needs my help, I'm not going to withhold it. Oh. I'm sorry, Audrey. But... <laughs> We bought a can, so what makes us customers? Yeah, well, you drank him now, so now oh, you know. Right. You're putting okay. the bunkers off. <laughs> right. It's not a flaming youth club dish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it wasn't my idea that you should come. I'm not blaming you. Don't need help to drive my kids away. Mom, it's not your fault. David's not been the same since Kylie died. I had hoped that meeting Shona would bring him some peace. Should have known better the way things are being for this family. Mm. Gary, this is my stepdad, Martin. Oh, hello. There's lots about you. How oh, have you? <laughs> Don't hold it against me, eh? So, uh, so you two, are you? Uh... We're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, well, Maria will be here in a minute. 
And I certainly need a drink after this palaver. I'm happy to speak to Gail if you wish. Roy, it's very kind of you, but it's so much better coming from me. I know deep down she thinks it's all nonsense, but trying to admit that to anybody but the family. Roy, 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 what do you think you're doing? Oh, Roy! Oh, Roy! Oh, Come on, with that! Get him! Hey, Debo, come on! Oh, 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's all this coming from? You need to settle up, Mona. I'm relying on that money. What problem? Yeah, OK. Face to face suits me. See you at two o'clock. I'm bringing you a checkbook. Gail, you need to come quick. It's Audrey. She's been hurt. She's talking, but she got mugged outside the salon and they've, they've knocked her over. Have you called an ambulance? Yeah, it's on its way. Right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come and check her over. <clears throat> There'll be hell to pay if he gets that marker on the carpet. We'll be fine. What's for tea? Bored eggs on toast. Ugh. That's all there is. We're meant to be going out. Well, I'll make it up to you. No, it's Amy you need to make it up to, Steve. She should have been in that photo. Well, it's not my call. It's favouritism. That's what it is. As long as little Lord Fault... <gasps> I, I tried fighting them off, but there were too many. I had to content myself with grabbing the one who had uh, Audrey's back. You caught one of them. Oh, tangled with the wrong hombre. It was a textbook takedown, if I say so myself. Well, that's unbelievable. Right man, right place, right time. Has he said anything? <clears throat> when the police arrived, he was less than forthcoming. Uh, I don't think he'll be incriminating his accomplices. Did you get a glimpse of any of them? Oh, no, no, it all happened so quickly. I, I told the police all we know. Why were you two at the salon? <sighs> we were meeting Rosemary. I had asked her to stop seeing you. What? It was for your own protection, Gail. She is my protection. Oh, sir. Richard Hillman is dead, Gail. He cannot hurt you. Open your eyes. Look at what happened today. Richard Hillman has cursed this family and we'll never have any peace until we see him oh, off. Oh, 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 Gail, please, you've got to listen to us. This is none of Richard's doing. No, it isn't. And now's not the time for this. We, we, we need to get you checked out. Oh, Everything else can wait. I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's tough as old boots, is my grand. Thought you'd be a bit more concerned, if I'm honest. Well, she sprained her ankle. I doubt they're going to rush her to intensive care. Anyway, I've got bigger things on my mind. So you're definitely going then? Yep. How does Shona feel about it? Well, I'm not going to twist her arm. So you'd really leave her and all your family behind on a whim? Well, it's not a whim, is it? I've hated it round here for ages. I was going to go to Barbados, remember? Yeah, but that was different, wasn't it? Yeah, well, everything was different then. That's why I need to go. No, I understand that. Have you thought about it all properly, though? Well, whatever it's like, it's got to be an improvement on round here. No, no, I didn't mean that. It's just the last salon course that I went on, there was this girl there who wanted to go to Australia to do hairdressing, but they weren't looking for hairdressers over there, so they wouldn't give her a visa. Well, that's Australia. And anyway, my dad's not had a problem. Yeah, but he's a nurse, isn't he? I don't know, I'd just... I'd speak to the embassy if I was you before you make too many more plans. Look, you should get going to the antenatal class. Well, I thought you were coming. Well, I need to be here when Henry Newton pitches up, but you shouldn't miss it again. This is your baby. I'm not going without you. Oh, he's not answering. Uh, Steve, he was supposed to bring Oliver around here half an hour ago. This is sabotage. Tracy will be behind this. Well, natural malevolence aside, why would she want to spoil the photo? Because she's trying to shoe on Amy into it, that's why, and I told her no. 
Ugh, the cheek. Yeah, exactly. Mind you, at this rate, nobody's gonna be here. I don't know where the hell Simon is. He was supposed to come home from school. Maybe he's just delayed. Well, is it too much for him to pick up his phone or ring me to tell me where he is? Oh, right, I'm gonna have to tell Peter to go and look for him. Yeah, he's in the back. Look, maybe you should go and collect Oliver. Yeah, I will. And if you hear any screaming, it'll be me pushing Tracy through the living room window. Well, if I was a betting man, I'd say it was a break. No, well, that's the last thing she needs with her job. Hmm. Has anyone told David? I think Maria was gonna do it. Mm. Well, with Audrey off her feet, it might put him, uh, put him off coming down to New Zealand with us. David's emigrating. Oh, sorry, this is Josh. This is uh, David's mate. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm his dad. Oh. Well, when did he decide this? Last couple of days. What has he thought it through? I mean, I know he's been a bit up and down recently, but I aim to do something he'd regret. Oh, oh, all right, wait, Roy. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do, do you have a moment? You see, Audrey was mugged a little earlier. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Is she all right? Well, she, she did fall rather awkwardly, but hopefully yeah, nothing serious. All right, well, give him my best, won't you? Sorry, Roy, I've got a dash. No, no we have something to discuss. <sighs> well, could he wait half an hour? I've just got to pick up. Not the... really, no. No, it's, he, um, <clears throat> Simon was one of Audrey's attackers. Is your wife here? No. How's she doing? Still sick? Yeah. Not as sick as me. Where's the money I'm owed? Yeah, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You what? I did the work? You've made a complete hash of the work. I appreciate you've been under a strain, but the fact remains, you've put thousands of pounds worth of concrete at the wrong temperature. The pillars are fine. Not anymore, they're not. They're crumbling. They're going to have to be demolished. Do what? End of next week. Mona, you can't... We've no choice. We're going to have to pull them down before they fall down. So, I'm afraid I won't be writing you any checks. The only paperwork you'll be receiving is a letter from my solicitor. I'll see myself out. And we're back in Weatherfield in half an hour. <laughs>